Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, Final Cut Pro, Apple's editing program, just updated today. I saw it on the Twitter. So uh, I like to upgrade when these things come along. I usually don't wait too long, so I went ahead and upgraded Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, now it is, let's go up here and check it out. Let's go to Final Cut Pro, about Final Cut Pro. And if you'll look, you'll see Final Cut Pro 10, version 10.2. That's the newest version. So on the Twitter, people were talking about some of the new things. And one of the things that intrigued me and looked really cool was the fact that coming standard as one of the effects with Final Cut Pro 10 now is 3D text and 3D cinematic text. So what I did is I just grabbed a video clip and I tossed some of these 3D texts in the timeline just to take a look at them and you know there's all kind of things that you can do but let me just play a couple of these. There's the uh, Goose Creek State Park that I was at kayaking not too long ago and you, you can see some of these 3D texts flying in and flying out. They have their own actions and of course you can alter these actions but this is normally something that you actually have to buy, you know, aftermarket plugins and things like that. And now these cool text effects come standard. I really like that one. Man, it's a cool name. Wonder who that is. This is one of the cinematics. And yet another one. All of these come with the new version of Final Cut Pro 10. So if I were you, if you use Final Cut Pro 10, I would update to get these. Let's just grab one of these custom 3Ds. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to pull it over to the timeline. And let's go up here and change the text. So, hey, I'm looking at this stuff for the first time. I've literally been on it for five minutes. So I really don't know everything it will do, but it's looking good. Let's... Uh, Let's give it some text here. Goose Creek Park. I've got the text highlighted. So when you click the text, it appears that you know you're going to get some controls, the different X and Y axes, things of that nature, and you can see what I'm doing to it here. Just some pretty cool things over here. You can control the depth. So Let me, uh, you can see that you can control the depth, things like that. Pretty cool. Just the on screen controls are going to allow you to do a lot of different things. But I like 3D text a lot, and I think it really can add to your video, certainly. So, um, like right here, let's look at this one. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to go over here. They'll even allow you to change the uh, material. So, I can go over here and click this, and it gives me concrete, fabrics, grunge, metals. Let's go in here, and let's look at gold. Let's just click that and turn that into gold. So, you know, this is never, you've never had this ability in Final Cut Pro 10 till now. And this comes standard. But anyway, like I said, I'm brand new in this. I haven't messed with hardly any of this either. But I just wanted to give you a quick look. So, if you're a Final Cut Pro 10 user, go ahead and upgrade. Doesn't take but a few minutes. And then get in here and see what you can do with some of this new 3D text. I'm curious to see what kind of cool things you can come up with. I'm going to try to get my hands in here, get them a little more dirty, and just see what I can do with this stuff. But it looks really, really good. Hey, that's it. Go check it out. I'm Steve. I'll see all of you in my next video.